Yo, good morning, chat. Welcome aboard. It is Friday. Yeah. Good to see you all here. Welcome to everybody watching live. Good to have you back for another day of Big O Gaming and another day in which we'll do some giveaways on the Discord and playing uh, all sorts of new games that have just recently released and uh, maybe some old ones. Good to see you all back for Small Lands out now. The link, of course, pinned to the top of the chat and in the description. Multiplayer open world survival. Really cool. Very good game. Um, I'm not, I, I'm actually quite surprised. I'm not seeing as much hype around this game as I thought I would. It's a very cool game, uh, that, uh, I thought more people would end up playing. Uh, this is, is very good. Um, it's a, quite a fun game with a, a lot of good combat and a lot of cool weapons and whatnot. Very nice. I did see some people, um, in a recent, uh, I think on our first video saying like, oh dude, they stole the concept from Grounded. And it's like, well, I don't know. This is based on, like, thousands of year old Scandinavian lore with, like, pixies and fairies and, like, <laughs> all sorts of other, like, uh, I don't know, bug-themed combat. So, I mean, you know, if you're fighting a ladybug, a ladybug's gonna look like a ladybug and attack like a ladybug. So, it's good. It's everything that I like about Valheim and about, uh, Grounded at the same time, which is good. All right, let's get back into it. Uh, apparently, Uthris was playing this uh, over the last night as well, and... He was building a pretty cool base. I was taking a look at what he's got. He's already got, like, Tier 2 stuff. Now the boy knows where to find all the good stuff. So that's awesome. So morning to you. One's in the chat. If you're happy, it's Friday. One's in the chat if you're enjoying your week so far. Weekend is almost here. Good to have the chatty chatters back. All right, we got to get back to base, speaking of. And uh, get ourselves another ladybug. And, um... Let's see... A flint pickaxe. Uh oh. It's like there's a wasp that camps above our camp. Every time. Wait, I don't have any arrows. Let's, uh... Make a bunch of those. And fire arrows are so expensive to make. Okay, we made wood arrows. Okay. I want a better bow. It begins. Cold weather out today. Is winter coming? Oh, it's snowing? What? It's winter in the game? I can see it snowing. Snow way. Better light a fire and kick some tires then, baby. Oh boy, now we gotta deal with winter? Okay, this changes things. That's surprising. Thunder and snow. That's a real thing. Oh, poison mace? We need fiber string for that. I must need some sort of a weaving... Some sort of a weaver to make that. Because there's like fiber string, silk, insect fur. Probably gotta do something with spiders. Great. I haven't found them yet. But they'll find me. Oh, there was an update and they shortened the seasons times now? Oh, that's what happened. Okay. 
Because we played this for like five days in a row and experienced no winter. And last night I, ex I was watching Uthras play and I was like, oh, he already made it winter. How the hell did he make it that far? That'd be why. Hey, what's up, Tan? Welcome back. Yeah, we'll uh, go to base and build a tannery bench shortly. Once we get back to base. We're just going to gather some last minute materials. Head on over there. Oh, there may be a loom from spider silk. Oh. I've killed a spider, but I didn't get any silk, so that's probably why. Yeah, we'll grind out some materials. There's also primal armor. Interesting. Well, we'll take a look at our options. We can always get more. Our resources are essentially unlimited. We just need to gather them. You know, like flint and bark and geckos all respawn. So we're okay. What's up, Charles? Hmm, this biome kind of makes it so we should hang out in one place for a while. Or the, the winter season. So it looks like we just need to go back to a fire and then we're good for a little bit, okay. Oh, you can see snow falling on the ground. No way. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see the snowflakes falling and hitting the ground. Cool. Well, that's one thing that Grounded doesn't have. Is seasons. have to check in with the uh, Uthris and play again. I, I'd like to jump into his game at some point too and fight together. I'm more like just gather materials together. It's fun. Flint pickaxe is so good. Crossed the river last night. Stuff over there will eat you. Oh, I'm I'm betting there's frogs. I heard them. And ah, we'll see. I guess we'll explore. I feel like they're gonna open up another area up here. First, I want to get my wings armor. We came back here to break down all the wood and stuff. Okay, 
Okay, we don't need those. much roach meat jeez as we're just learning about this game everything's valuable like some of this stuff could be junk but you know when you don't know you don't know so the moment you throw something away that's when you need it bones are a nutritious cooking ingredient Well, we've gathered a ton of flint now. And if we make our way home, it's a little cold. <laughs> Did the survival game make us small so we don't have to deal with bears? There's always bears. Ladybug today? Um, yeah, I'll have to do something differently with the ladybug. Apparently, um, the ladybug seems to be a neutral, like, creature in the game that other bugs won't attack. But the moment that you get one with a saddle on it, then they'll start to attack it. So it's kind of, like, um, annoying. Which is fine. All right, let's have a snack. What do we got? Well, it's a long way home to the uh, tree base that we want to go to. I guess I could, like, make another... I could teleport that base from here to here because I want to fight the, uh, the wasp boss. Hi, chat. Good morning. Good to see you all here. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Let's do some repairs, I guess. We need fiber to do a repair. <laughs> What's up, Gallon? We don't need that. Let's just eat that. There we go. I don't need the leaves. I want the fiber. It's nighttime in Sri Lanka. You're watching from Sri Lanka? Dude, Raptoria Worldwide. Everybody from all over the world, welcome. Still no bee armor? Um, not at the moment. I just have to go back to that lady. I think we have everything we need. We just got to go back to that lady to craft it. So I just haven't gone back to where she is. Can't pick up the fiber there. Wait, now I have 30?
I'm kind of afraid to leave because I, I wonder if it'll get colder at night. And I wonder if there's foods that we can eat that'll keep us warm for longer. Like in the long dark. I guess we'll make a run for it, and if we need to, we'll make a uh, fire on the way. Okay. Go back this way. Oh, I don't want to fight a gecko, I just want to go home. Don't want to die in the cold. You're watching from the smallest state in America? Ah, Alaska. Maryland? No, I think it's Rhode, Rhode Island. Not now, water bug. I'm trying to stay warm. Wait, did they speed up the day? Not that day felt really short. I feel like they sped up day-night cycle and the... And the seasons. Okay, we just need to warm up. Winter travel's no good. Now that's going to make the game a lot harder to explore because we might need to wear padded armor or some other warm armor, which is not ideal for combat. It's okay, but it's not great. Boop. You're watching from your dining room while you work? Oh, I love that. So many of you guys say that you just throw on the TV because you know that I'm on and then you go about your day. Which a lot of you may work from home, or spend your day off watching while you're doing laundry, woodworking, some of you build miniatures. Some of you also play the same game I do, so I'll be on the TV while you have like a laptop open or something. That's cool. Look, this guy over here with the stealth attack, didn't even, didn't even hear you, sir. Until the music kicked up. Oh, I just need to go hug a bear for warmth? Okay. Thanks, nice Chad. I'm gonna go see where Uthras built. I know he's building on, like, the ground. I really think it's cool that this game gives you the option to build, like, on a tree or anywhere on the ground, so long as it, like, has within certain rules uh, foundational support. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to base. You listen while you deliver UPS. Man. That's cool. That's what they call lurking. You're, you're not necessarily active in the chat, but you're here. And we know you're here. That's cool. I just feel like sometimes people are a little shy of the chat, but... 
So long as you're not rude, it's all good. Chad, I've been I've been seeing a few I've I've been seeing more rude comments. I do, I don't get it. Just just in general, you know. I'm a first time talker. Well, there you go. Welcome aboard. Some people are shy. That's cool. Um, I need to dismantle this, but it won't let me. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. People just have bad days. Well, I'm starting to like get college thesis review. Like I don't know. I'm starting to think maybe I should start addressing it because if those people want to submit free content, like if they're submitting a free public comment, they won't dare do it in the in the live stream because there'll be immediate, you know, there'll be an immediate consequence for doing that. Something that they say isn't true could be immediately disproven. They don't want that to happen. <laughs> Typically, YouTube will flag those for review and be like, hey, this, this comment's like potentially... Uh, I forget what it says. I'd like to have a conversation with those people, but it never goes good. It'll just be like, this this guy is dumb, and he's dumb. And it'll have 1,400 likes <laughs> on it, and it's like, hey, how come you're being that way? You'll never get the, you'll never get a... You got people who are experts in arguing, but not experts in uh, discussions? They can win an argument in the uh, presence of their peers, but it doesn't mean that they're right. It's a, yeah, it's it's kind of a big L attitude. Like recently, I played uh, Resident Evil. Like last night, we played Resident Evil. You all saw that. And then someone wanted to go on to debate whether or not I played the 2005 version of it from almost 15 years ago. They were like, dude, he struggled in this one part. I doubt that he played this from 2005. It's like, one, I told you that I did. I don't know why what I would gain from lying. And two, that was 15 years ago. You think I remember this one particular part from 15? No, I have other things going on. I think I'm going to have to start addressing it. Because for about a decade now, I've been receiving those comments, and I just think to myself, well, why are these... what? Well, maybe things will get better. I'm sure there's patient and tell... The, the smart people who watch YouTube videos are just busy watching the videos. They don't... they're too smart to go into the comments section. And, you know in, uh, you know in, like, was a Greek... A Roman lore about the hands that pull you down to Hades that's basically what it's like if you start reading those comments it's just basically like being pulled down to hell every comment you read just pulls you closer and closer to the abyss <laughs> like some of you are a little smarter than going into that section okay these are specifically designed for the cold all right You're too smart to comment. Well, you know, I mean, I think we have a fairly intelligent chat. Chat is smart. And chat is helpful. Sometimes too helpful. But, you know, it's weird because, you know, I'll play a game and I'll be like, Hi guys, welcome to... And then immediate anger. It's like, at what point in that video did I specifically attack you? All 
Alright, I also said we were going to uh, rebuild the house. And I still plan to do that. So let's get our materials organized. Ooh, we got a lot of wood. This is good. Well, the music that's playing right now, I'm just surprised I haven't heard. Uh, Deke thinks that you're doing a good job. And that you should continue to do the job, and which is good. It's like, oh, thanks, Deke. Yeah, well, I just don't know. I just don't know why the default is just like attack, 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 attack. Like, I don't. If you're if you're jealous of someone or if you don't like what somebody's doing, the, the first thing you got to do is discredit, marginalize, and like dehumanize. Like I don't know what that. It's a very defeatist attitude. Uh, did you get more building walls and stuff, or stuck with the starting walls? Oh, yeah, I unlocked, um, like, two new types of walls, and I still have to make a stone. I can take stone and cut it into a brick, and I think that might unlock another building type. But, uh, now I'm back at base. Now it's winter, and apparently chat was saying that a, re a recent patch made it so that way winter happens faster. So I'm probably going to stay at base for a little bit, because traveling is going to be a little bit of a problem. Let's do this. I'm going to drop the armor here. Watch out, ladies. What the hell am I wearing? I'm going to go put on the, uh, the warmer armor. Wait, maybe, maybe at the tree there's no... Is it... Can you get cold at the tree? If you're not near fire... Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. So it is possible to die at your base of exposure if you're not near a campfire. I was going to go put on warmer uh, clothing. Actually, I could keep the face mask on. Let's do... So now we want padded armor for the winter. And apparently keeps us warmer. <sighs> oh, the torch. Does torch carrying keep you warm too? Oh, really? Hey, what's up, Melissa? First time in chat. Just wanted to say how much I'm enjoying your streams on this game. Well, thanks for watching. This game is really nice. Uh, we need a better base, though. So that's what we're doing today. Oh, it doesn't keep you warmer? Aw, oh, darn. That would have been cool. I feel like resin could be used to build a base, too. Uh, is this just our generic dump box now? Let's make some food. Yeah, there's coldness in this game, yep. Yeah, so we gotta, like, wear appropriate... See, that's interesting, because, like, when it's super cold out, you might not want to leave your base. Because, you know, it might be a little harder to survive, so... Might be a good time in the winter to take all the materials that you've gathered and actually build a decent base. And it looks beautiful. But the combat, I feel like, could be a little tougher, because... You have to fight against the elements and also... Like a giant wasp. Alright, let's, uh... Get ready to take it on down. Actually, you know what? I want to make a stone... I don't know if I have a lot of stone.
Stone brick, one flint, one stone. Shape stone, stackable and perfect for robust building. Now that's a new building material. Take stone and flint. Well, I'm glad we gathered a ton of flint. Let's see what it looks like. Shape stone, stackable and perfect for robust building. Oh, there we go. We have horizontal railings now, too. I think Uthras wanted to build his base where it wasn't on a flat piece of land. However, I think we could build up here. Why is building so much fun? Ah, it's just one of those things, part of base building games. It's fun. So we made a stone brick, but it didn't unlock any new recipes. Oh, I feel like days are much shorter in this game now. I don't think building a stone unlocked anything at all. He yeah, has a warm up uh, Uthras recreated Taj Mahal. Just for funsies. to smelting soon, too. I think we're just going to need to make some more generic dump boxes out here. Oh, the apothecary table? I, I don't think I built that yet. We will build that now, though. We're working on the base. First, I'm going to redesign the house. Since we have lots of materials. So I'm working on getting stuff outside. Probably destroying stuff I don't want anymore. Junk. Alright, uh, let's try... Yeah, Uthris has a small empire. find wood. Wow, don't tell me I used it all. No way. Enjoying winter? Well, I never experienced it before. Apparently the chat was telling me that the update uh, has made it so winter appears faster. Oils are out here. Yeah, I think fall was starting and then it just immediately became winter. Okay, so that one's empty. There's only 10 there. Okay, let's find the rest of our seeds. I swear I had more on me. Alright, let's make refined wood. Okay. 
Now we need garlic leaf to make that chest. And I'm just building this for a temporary storage sturge. And we need fiber. Did I build a wood platform yet? Uh, for what? Oh, you mean for uh, unlocking the stone stuff? Oh, yeah. Uthras, I unlocked a... Um, I mean, I made, like, a, uh, a stone. It takes one flint and one, like, stone to make a stone brick. Have you made uh, anything out of stone yet? Because I made the brick and it didn't unlock anything. Can you build a fireplace indoors? Uh, yeah, I could I could take this and then build like a little chimney for it. We're getting ready to redo the house now. There's a forge and oven that uses stone. Oh, so it's not a building material. It's, a, it's needed for an interactable. Okay. Okay. I was hoping to get more building materials. I'd love for something to be built out of stone, so that way we could... You know, you could build like a defensive wall. No, this isn't going to be like the Room of Requirement. Look, I'm clean, chat, okay? I, I uninstalled Harry Potter, okay? good though to actually be like improving the base now and staying home for a little while Be safe. We'll throw a bed over here. Yeah, I've tamed some insects before, yep. Can they does anyone chat do you know if they can come to your tree? If you tame a like a ladybug, can it come up to the tree with you? I haven't done that yet, but I feel like it'd be a tedious thing if you can't if you can't come up here with the ladybug and you bring a bunch of stuff back with you, it's gonna be a big problem to like offload that stuff and have to bring it up the elevator. They can? Cool. Cool. Nope, no grasshopper mount. I've mostly been trying to do the main quest and getting armor, and I'm pretty close to getting the bee armor, but now that winter's here, we're going to do the thing that I said I was going to do for a while, which was redo the base. Promises made, promises kept, chat. 
Also, I do promise uh, for the members, by the way, in that 4,000 member goal, uh, thanks again to everybody who smashed the join button all the time and supports the channel and or the like button and the subscribe button. But for members specifically, I still have yet to do the poll for uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance and Red Dead and a few other things we've unlocked through all of our memberships. So I'll do those soon as soon as we've got a few less games that we want to check out for now. Right now, Dredge and this game and a, a few other games have dropped and so we'll... I, I don't want Kingdom Come or uh, Red Dead to feel rushed. Or Baron, Baron Breakfast, we gotta do more of that. And I want more time for all those, so you know we'll do it when things are a little, a little quieter. Which can happen uh, late spring, just before the summer. Which is cool. It's a good time to catch up on games you may have missed in the spring. Which, by the way, I, I think I, I, I'm really liking Fall Land, uh, sorry, Small Lands, but Dredge has got me, like, going, whoa. It's like my new favorite. Although I love Terra Nil too. You know what I'm really liking, Chad, is I like games like this a lot. Like, I really think this is an awesome game, but I really like games that are, that remind me of, like, the Sega Genesis era. Like, Terra Nil and Dredge feel like they could have been on a completely different platform and yet kind of played the same. Although I feel like a game like Small Land is good because you can see the beauty of the world. Like, this is more terrifying and beautiful because of how detailed the creatures and the world looks. But I feel like a game like Diablo 4, for example, could have almost been made at any time because it's like... You know, eventually Diablo 5 and Diablo 6 will come out, because companies like money. But it'll look and feel the same, so that's a game that could, like, have come out at any time. And it's a good game. In other words, there's no wrong time to make or play that game. Also, let that be known, too. If it's uh, 2032 and you're watching this video, and you're thinking, oh man, I missed out on Small Land. Oh no. There's no wrong time to play a game. If you just found out about uh, Stardew Valley, and you're like, oh my god, I want a place to... Oh, it's an old game. <laughs> yeah. Good. Play it. It's good. Yeah, the game... The, uh, the developers, the publishers, Team 17... I. Devolver Digital and, like, Team 17 makes so many damn good games, dude. Uh, or publish them, and, like, everything from Hell Let Loose to Dredge. That's a great publisher right there. Yeah, let's make a little fire over here. All right, time to build a base. Something decent. I went through res and it's a thing that I thought I had enough of. Is that mistletoe? I think I still want to build it right here. I like how you can make table and chairs too. 
Does anyone know if the table and chairs are interactable? Like, can you just sit down in this game? So, let's make it like this. You can sit down in the chairs? Good. corners. Hmm. Ooh, there's concave. Concave and convex. Nice. Oh my god, the wood grain. Unplayable. Uthras must have been furious. You can't reorient the wood frame. <laughs> For whatever reason, just building that now. I thought at the time that Uthras built a hard rock cafe in Planet Coaster, and I don't know why. The floorboards just reminded me of like a hard rock cafe. And that has nothing to do with it. I don't know why I had this this thought. Yeah, the big old guitar. And still hitting the middle mouse button to delete stuff like it's Valheim, lol. Uh, I'm just going to use these stairs. I kind of want to make a little porch here. So let's do this. Wait. Around that corner. I want to do like a side of the house outdoor storage. You know, in all the promotional pictures and stuff in this game, they show all this, like some stuff being built outside, but if you do that, it'll take damage and break. And it's like, well, I wish I could put some things outside. That had no consequence. Geez, a wraparound porch? I think we're mis I think we're misjudging how many materials I have here. Wait, are there more railing options? Uh just one. For now. Pretty. And do we have any flat chimney options? We have the lease roof chimney. the only one with a chimney? Damn it. I certainly want a chimney, but that doesn't look right there. 
Also, I th yeah, this doesn't have any visible chimney underneath, so... But also, this isn't Valheim, so we don't have to worry about filtering smoke. Uh, one thing that I find needs adjustment is how it seems to storm during the day-night cycle too much, which makes it seem dark and stormy. Yeah, that'd be okay, so long as the days were longer. Because then if you're going to lose daylight and visibility to storms, that'd be okay. If they adjusted that. I guess we'll do a porch, I suppose. Do the wrap around. We might need a lady boat. Contrabando. Dude, we could do like a balcony where the... Oh, right. We could do a concave floor that gives a hole for the fire above. Bruh. too many beams. But I already feel like this house is way too large anyway. It's just me. I'm not starting a family. Sorry, ladies. Not today. convex flooring work. Ooh. <laughs> I hate it. Wait a minute, actually. Well, that kind of hides some of the shenanigans going on. And in a way, it looks kind of cool. You know what's weird? Fire doesn't melt the snow around it. Can't recommend this game, guys. Sorry. one by one. It's supposed to go, I mean, I don't have that kind of space to do, you know, they expect you to do like a, a two by two to make that, and that's like so much, so much space.
Alright. Door frame. Okay, both sides are the exact same. Hm. Wait, this is called wall. This should just be called wall with window. And this should be called wood wall. That's weird. Yeah, stability's a thing. Ooh, wait. Okay, you can build half walls that way. I guess we could make the house bigger on the inside. Yep. Takes two bark to do that. Oh boy. Might have to go back to the bark mines. You know, actually, we could build the second story walls out of a different material. We could do that first material to make the house look green on the top. That looked nice. Also, do I have it hang over like this? Oh, I can't do that. Damn. Well, I guess we just don't do the wraparound porch. Yeah, we'll do the second floor with the green grass. So we'll do this. So now let's do the second story. I guess I would do a balcony here, but um, I guess we could do that. I just need to do like the reinforced. Um, Floor. You just found a real life ladybug on your windowsill? Wow. Magical. It's magic. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's true. Victoria Sweet could put a saddle on the uh, ladybug. You know, I really like in this game that we have the 
um, smaller stairs. Like, it takes up half of a, a square, kind of. Because I could do the double square, but this is nice. And I think we have, uh, or the, the double stairs, which would take a square. And I think we have a railing for this. We do. Ah, oh, dude, you put railing on your stairs. That's nice. Now, the problem is, can't do a half... Can't do a half railing there, though. So that's Sag. Pretty cool. So I don't know if I need these wood pillars. I could probably just go with the wood windows that'll hold the wall. But the pillars make it pop. And if I extend those to the second floor, it'll look nice. I like the two-tone. This reminds me of when we built the um, uh, the house in Green Hell. That was built with both... Um, it was like bamboo on the second floor. and Or banana leaves on the second floor and like bamboo on the first. Like the second floor was lighter. And that's kind of cool. Oh, boy. Um. I guess we'll continue to do this. Yeah, the one that floated on the lake. It was cool. We had, like, a waterfall house, which was really cool. Sorrel broth warms you up good. Is that... Oh, boy. Is there an actual uh, thing to that? Does the sorrel broth actually, like, keep you warm through the winter? Okay, we're out of bark. I feel like I could get rid of some of these pillars. These ones here I like. And the ones by the stairs I like. And the ones in the corner are just decorative. All right, here's what we'll do. I'll get rid of the decorative pillars for now. And then we'll add those later when we get more materials. And then I'll just use it as trim. These are a little bougie for now. It's a warming meal, so it gives you 240 seconds of warmth. Wow, cool. I haven't had to experience winter yet, so I wasn't really paying attention to those um, statistics yet. Also notice there's like green wrapping around some of these. Is it on all sides? Oh, it, oh, it is, okay. Uh, I haven't seen dungeons like Valheim yet. Oops. What does our door look like? And I think we'll just do a green roof too. Damn it. Okay. That's my bad. Right, let's go with these.
Hmm. I want to do a centered roof, but I don't know why it keeps lowering itself. Oh, it's because those pillars are there. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Oh, an all-windows balcony? Oh, we could turn that into the bedroom, maybe. See if we can put a quick roof on this. I don't know if we'll have enough materials. This apparently counts as a shelter, so we're good. We'll just stay right here. Oh boy. Not going out there. Yo, Matthew, thanks for the 35 months as a little raptor, dude. Thanks for sending your membership milestone. Love the game, brother. Love to reg. Keep up the good work. Yep, we'll be playing more of that today, too. safe for now okay unfortunately I'm not sure if this game's gonna give us a lot of roof options to make it look nice oh yeah we gotta deal with those corners new member welcome a new member welcome or really a returning one oh, that's cool we can round the corners as well Oh, we can do rounded corners too. Nice.
but I want these. Yeah, the storms in this game are uh, badass. We could do something like this to allow for ventilation, kind of. The only other option would be flat. I wonder if we could do a sunlight. No, we can't do a sunroof thing. We could just go with boring old flat for now. We'll do that for now. Is that okay with you, chat? Is that something you think would be okay? This pleases me. Okay. Want to get approval beforehand. It looks good for now, yeah. We need more material. Oh, it looks like the frickin' Adams Family house. <laughs> Also, I want to put a window. Actually, nah. Fine. Alright, so I wanted to build a little um, storage area on this side. So we might replace these windows here and have it tie into the porch. So I'll build like a little offset to this thing. Make it non-symmetrical a little bit. Can we build rounded walls? We can, yep. Yep. Actually, I could have this lead into the workshop section. Oh yeah, I didn't see round railing, yeah. Yeah, we need half railing, quarter railing, and we need um, rounded railing. Yeah, because if you're going to make a concave or convex um, foundation, you might want to put a railing there for, like, a deck. It's funny because the game actually shows that, too. Like, it has those... Like, when you go up to the tree, it has those rounded railings here. So that's in the game. This is like a wooden platform like what we just built. I love how it's off to one side. That's cool. Because the, the door is going to have to be... I mean, we could make it perfectly centered, but this leads right right inside. But I like that. That's fine by me. Do the bugs hibernate? I don't think so. They're out there. So what I'm going to do is build like a little shed here for materials. So like essentially this. So we're going to put all of our boxes in like a, an attached warehouse room. So, you know, this is going to look all nice and cozy. And this will probably be where we go to sleep up here. We'll decorate all this. Boy, this <laughs> oh, this looks really There's a lot of gaps here. That does not look warm. <laughs> this looks better. This looks uh Oh well. It looks better with the two colors though. Otherwise, just the, just the wood, I don't think, would look as nice. But F to that insulation. But then this will lead to the little warehouse that I plan to build. So we need more materials for that. So what do we got? Anything useful? Yeah, I think we gotta go all the way back there and go get more bark and stuff. And it's almost night, so we're gonna stay home. Oh yeah, the, I get you're right. The outside storage might look like a garage. Maybe I'll build it on the left side. 
But I like the idea of it kind of being behind the stairs. And then we'll look... So this is just going to be a... Fl this is... Um, this flooring here will extend out this way. Cool. Maybe I'll do... Um, what if I do this? I'll fold this into the house here. here and then everything else can be built of the green stuff smash and like this game looks epic yeah it's pretty epic we'll need a lot more materials to finish what we're doing but now we can decorate a little bit with some more important stuff which is lighting and then we got to put you know we're gonna make a, a workshop room and a warehouse room probably all in one And maybe I'll make a little private room here. Oh wait, do we have a... Oh, I don't think we have a block to actually cover that. We have wood wall tops, but do we have wood wall... Or twig wall tops? There's not like a way to... Uh, that's going to look weird. That's right. It'll be for ventilation. Then we can put our bed down in here. Hopefully we get a nicer bed soon. Put it near the fire, because that's where there's a chance of food. The food is wherever I am. Nice. anything through there. I think this is okay. Additionally, I could just put a little roof here so it doesn't look so weird. Actually, now we have a loft. And we could, uh, if I could put a ladder, I could put a little box up there. But then under decorations, we have options to put down, like, what, a bookshelf, I think it was? Oh, a cabinet. Oh, no, it's room of requirement. Uh-oh, don't do it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But all right, we're going to make that our new spawn point. I need to put something there. A chair. Don't fall.
<laughs> Whoa, that's a big table. Wow, you could do like a whole dining room. That's bougie. Well, alright, to get that in here, let's get rid of the uh, support beams then. I feel that table's way too big. Um, maybe not. It's just sitting up too high. That's weird. That table sits up a little too high. Will it fit all of chat? Don't think so. Me just, me just poking it with a stick. Come on. Come on, get done. Well, now we can center the fire a little bit. Gotta be about there. Okay, we want to do this corner now. Look like Uther's got the B-wings and was flying. Oh, yeah. We should be able to do that. I gotta go talk to that lady, but I think we have the materials to do it. There's a crafter who can take care of that for us. Ah, oh, there we go. We just gotta look at the support beam. There we go. Ooh, that looks nice. Bruh. And it's pretty damn well centered. Okay, let's make sure we grabbed all the materials on the floor. Ah, beautiful. We can put a storage box here for food.
I'm gonna say this is the front. Well, still TBD, but still pretty damn good. But a long way to go. Which requires a lot more tother things. I wonder how that bee armor is in the uh, winter. I wonder if it feels like it'd be warmer than the stone. Armor, that's for sure. Bark again. Do we need bark? We eh, I don't think we need any more flint, but we will need more wood. Luckily we can get that, but we're out of bark. So that's gonna be a thing we need. You know what's interesting too is that we need the um like, while we're building the base, we also need food, like, while we're here, so... Yep, looks pretty nice. Alright, let's get ready for adventure. We're gonna need to go and get more wood and bark. I think it's the coolest concept in the world, though, that our base can kind of come with us with how it works in the game. Pretty cool. No, fires don't make smoke, like in Valheim, so we don't have to worry about, um, ventilation. New member, welcome! Yo, Michelle, thank you very much for being a member for five months of the channel. Thanks for smacking join for five months in a row. If you guys are looking to become a member as well, you can click or tap that, uh, join button. Or hit join and, uh... On the right side of that, there's three dots on that menu. You can hit the allow button for gifted memberships, and some of our members might want to gift you a membership in the future. Never know. All right, I want to do healing items there. Yeah, you're right, we'll need resin. We gotta add a few things to the shopping list. So back to mine bark. Back to the old bark mines. named your bearded dragon after me. Oh, Thank you. Thanks, Michelle, for the uh, for the three. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's Q. Alright, down to the old flint base. I wonder, is there any closer... Nah. That's been, like, the best spot we found it so far. Oh, there's resin. 
Well, luckily, if we need resin, it's next to the base. <laughs> Gotta pick up some more steaks. What oh, does the water freeze? Nope. Not really. hatchling that eats like a beast. Well, that's good. That means he's healthy. Loot Squatch? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're adding new membership slots, I mean, uh, new um, emote slots all the time from members. Every time we get a certain member goal, YouTube adds more memberships for us. Or, so, okay, let me re-say that again. More members equals more emote slots, so we get to use more simultaneously. Otherwise, I gotta switch them out. So, to make room for some of the bear-themed ones, we had to put the loot goblin aside for the time being. But, more memberships meet equal more emotes, so that's good. So every membership unlocks something for everybody. Pretty cool. Is there me or do I feel out of wood all the time? Yeah. Well, luckily wood's pretty easy to get though. It's easy come, easy go. Like if you need wood, you go down to the base of a tree and within like 30 seconds you have a ton of it. Damn, that stone spear just destroys those dudes. I don't want garlic. Well, get a little bit of it. Oh, that emote is our war bear. It's a bear with a uh, a helmet on. Sir, you don't want to mess with me. Don't do it. that log what What happens if you kill a butterfly? I think they only just drop, like, bug parts that you can eat, and then, like, eggs. Edibles, basically. Yeah, this game looks really good. I haven't seen a lot of people playing it, though. I, I mean, I've seen a few people play, but I thought this one would pop off a lot more, so... Hopefully we can spread the word so more, more people can give it a try. I think there's a lot of good content here. And this is uh, early access, right?
Okay, let's go. Yeah, the multiplayer in this game is really cool because everybody can build separately in the trees and then can share their bases. Alright, this armor is actually not that bad. It doesn't protect as good, but it's not it's not that much worse. How's the weapon durability? Oh, I thought it was good. I mean, the earlier weapons do suck with durability. But I do like how with the weapons, if you repair them early enough, you, it's a not, it doesn't cost you anything. Oh, cool. These two are fighting. Oh, the gecko killed him. Nice. Be friend. Thank you. And let's begin. I don't even know why I harvest flint. I don't know if we need that anymore. Well, maybe we will. It's required for cut stone, and that, I don't know. We could, we could need a lot of that, possibly. Better idea just to get everything we need. Or might need. Yeah, I've been holding on to the st uh, stingers, hoping that they make a weapon. Yeah, all the enemies have a certain weakness, so those bees are, uh, their weakness is the spear. And same with beetles. So you have to kind of carry a sword and a spear. I haven't seen a shield in the game yet. That'd be nice if there was a, you can block, but it'd be nice if there were a, like a round shield to parry with. For the sword. But it's powerful. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Carry some flint to repair flint weapons just in case. That's a good idea. Oh, we already took down the stairs behind the camp. We use that to build the house now. So I guess the best way to put this game is Fern Gully plus Valheim plus Grounded. Yeah, kind of the, the bug combat of Valheim, or of uh, Grounded, but uh, the presentation of Valheim, and some of the weapons of Valheim. Yeah, we can freeze. We need to stay warm, which is why I built a little base camp here. Need more bark. No, we're 
hardly see any over there. Oh, what's up, bro? I thought we were cool. I didn't want to fight. Alright, time to die then. Got him. Gecko is feisty. He wanted me to buy homeowner's insurance? I bet he did. I bet he did. Really hoping to fight the wasp today and get uh, the bee armor. Yeah, that's enough flint for now. I want I want bark. Apparently we can make armor out of this hide, so we need them. Yeah, it seems best just to get them up against the wall and then they can't do that retreat anymore. Dragonflies are annoying. There's like no bark over here. Yeah, the dragonfly mount. Well, I don't know if you can get the dragonflies a mount. Or at least I can't yet. Hmm. 
Let's take a nap and see if the bark respawns. I think we gotta stay here a few days because there's not. Doesn't really look like there's a lot of it. Do they explain how you got so small? Well, you're small because you're a, like a pixie. Or a fairy or something. Like, we were like born this way. That's weird. It looks like the game moved around my organization again. I don't know why it moves things to different orders. Okay. I don't see any other bark other than where we were. Aren't we in somebody's garden? Uh, it feels like a park, like a like a nature reserve. There's like an old church around and like a picnic table. It seems like a just a nature area. Bro, there is no... There's flint, but I just don't see bark. Also, this guy's camping some uh, important sticks. Hi, sir. Camping my materials. We gotta go uh, harvest some stone again, too, I'm sure. Yeah, the train looks good. This game is uh, good, like all around good. Looks like there's a way to get across there. I believe this biome is going to be super, super dangerous. Although there's no reason to go there yet. They want us to go down here and up there. And I think we can cross here. I think, actually, I think we've gone over here a little bit. Oh yeah, well, there you can see a church, and then you can see like a stairwell going up to it. Well, there's more bark and stuff on the other side. Dragonflies are annoying though. Fern gully scenario, yeah. for more bark, but it just seems to be in that one little area. This is cool. Here yet. More resin, though. More wasps.
clay. Ooh. Needs a spike pickaxe or better. A spike pickaxe. That's a new material. Okay, let's mark that. So we can get clay. That must be for smelting. Uh, we, could, we could probably build a smelter out of brick and clay like that. Alright, so clay is down here. So what has spikes? I'm thinking like it's it's not a, it's not a crafting recipe. First of all, how'd you what? No, sir, that's not how that works. So it's not a crafting recipe. That's a hornet? Oh, is that oh That's where we get it. From the hornet stinger, maybe. Because we didn't get it from wasp or regular bees. Alright, let's dance. So Got him. Oh. Well, that's nothing new. Insect sting is for an arrowhead or dart. Oh, that's right. We can make the blowgun now. So it looks like uh, bees are... Their weakness, or at least the hornet's weakness, is the um, poison from the blowgun. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, what can we drop? What's not so good? Anything we can stack? Yeah, we'll get rid of the petals. Hmm. Insect wing is for a certain armor type where you can glide with it. Oh, is this aloe vera? Can't interact with it, though. Well, I want to know how to make a spike. I want to I mine clay. At least we know where it is now. No, I haven't found any spiders yet. Well, I have. I found some spiders and fought them. They were kind of tough, but I didn't really get anything from it. But this area is completely littered with clay. So this, this is our clay mines here. Yeah, I want to tame a gecko too, yep. Yeah. This game just keeps getting better and better. Like, as we discover new stuff, it's cool where it is. And, like, the mystery of how to get the material. It's like what was fun about Grounded. Looks like more flint down there, but I want bark. Okay, so this is an important area to build a base because there's 
Um, what the hell is that? Oh, a lubber? Are you a land lubber? You are. Ooh, you hit like a truck, bro. Too dangerous. He is also weak to um, hammer damage, but I don't know if I have that. Oh, I do have a stone hammer, okay. We could win that fight, but it's it's like a 75% chance, not like a 90. I really don't want to fight hornets. These guys seem to be just higher tier enemies that are the same as wasps and uh, bees. Maybe they drop more of... Harder enemies will just drop more of the same thing. Damn, I'm glad we explored down here. This is just like the northern part. We found Lubber and Hornet here, so imagine like what's down here. It's probably that mechanical spider that Will Smith had to fight in Wild Wild West. It's just a mecha spider. Lasers, missiles, close-in weapon systems. You know spiders. Uh, I want to get to the other side. I guess we can go up. Spike pickaxe are better. Well, that's got to be the tier above flint, and I, I would imagine the only thing better than flint would be like a, a metal. Because the first one's the mandible, and that's bug based. Then the next one is flint, which is like mineral. So the next one's got to be like metallic, I can imagine. So I need to find a way to smelt. I thought we would need, um... I thought we'd need clay to make a smelter to then be able to smelt the iron. So there's got to be some way to get metal beforehand. Maybe? What's up, Holly? So I don't think we can go east. We, we can go east here, maybe. Oh, the storm is coming. Alright, hold on. We gotta get back to... Uh, we gotta get home. Hold on, we gotta go. <laughs> Trouble's coming. <laughs> we gotta go. 
It's coming. Oh, I just jumped back to the same side. No. I thought it was on the other side of the railing. We're going to have to build a little house here to take shelter. Okay, we got to build it quick. Actually, it's probably not a bad idea to build on this side. We'll be all right. there. And we're good. Whew. Probably not a bad idea to build a house over here too for when we go clay mining. Rains in Spain mainly will fall mainly on the plane. Yeah. Yes, Voldemort was coming, yeah. All clear. Maybe uh, when we start to mine over here... I can't go through there. When we start to mine here, I'll probably build a bridge to get across. But there's some good area all over here with clay. So when we need clay, now we know where to go. So we have bolts. We need to be able to smelt those for metal. We have um, bottle caps. But now I need to know where to get like a, me like a, a spike pickaxe. Now, knowing this game, it's either A, literally, you can kill a creature or find the resource you need right here, or B, it's on, like, the complete opposite of the map. I'm going to go with option B. What's over the west side of the map near the character marker? Oh, this? This lady? I'm not sure. We'll have to go explore. Oh, Whip Spider is a huge boss in Empire of the Undergrowth. That game's cool. Empires of the Undergrowth is really... It's so cool how it feels like a Windows 95 or Windows 98 era game. I love games like that. I feel the same about Factorio, too. Factorio feels like when it came out, kind of like an older game that was like a... Ge it, it felt like a classic, like, as it was coming out. <laughs> like, that's kind of a cool thing. Alright, 
Alright, so we're back to check for... Yeah, I got screws from a broken camera. You can find them in a few places. Right, let's beat this guy up. Uh, I can't make boats now. So if you need bark, it's just a good idea to come back the next day. Yeah, that guy keeps trying to sell me car insurance every time we fight him. Come on down, bruh. There we go. Okay, so let's drop some chitlin. Cool, now we got more food. All right, time to get more bark. Now I want to kind of finish up the base a little bit more today and go finally fight the wasp, but um, we can also check in with that lady to see if we have enough for um, armor. Yep, I think we can fly a dragonfly around, yep. Man, that's it for bark. You just saw a person have really cool wasp armor. Looks dope. I think we're about to get that. There's a there's a lady up here who has that. I want to go chat with her and turn in everything we need for it. I've been wanting to talk with her and get that armor for a long time, but I've been busy in the salt mines. All right, let's nap and go home. We'll wait for the day. Go to the tree, drop off a bunch of stuff, maybe build a little bit of the house, and then go get that armor. And then finally see if we can get the um, boss battle done. Oh, hi.
The small bases look like a porta potty. Yeah. I mean, you know, you don't have to make a complicated base when you're just sheltering for the wind. It's a panic room. to the tree. Yeah, this game's multiplayer. Technically, I'm playing like in a multiplayer server, but none of my uh, friends are around. Bradford said he'd be available for the next four days, and he's only joined me once. All right, back to the tree. It's a really good spot to get food, too. There's mushrooms everywhere. different place in the snow. It's like a whole new game today. That's new. Wrong tree base, though. We gotta go... Although I'm gonna go, I'm gonna like move the base again anyway, so I don't know if I wanna climb a tree just to move the base slightly <laughs> to then go somewhere else. We're probably gonna go to the west next. Game needs a backpack beside the ladybug one. Yeah, I really think the ladybug is the best used by just summoning the lady or like taming one, putting a bunch of crap in it, and then just kind of like leaving it somewhere safe and then not summoning it until you need it. So it's almost like, um, hmm, it's 
like an inventory that you can kind of access. You know, it's like the storage box from Resident Evil. Except you can kind of summon it. But only when it's safe. Wait, this isn't Valheim. Well, the gameplay is like that. This is a little bit like Valheim meets Grounded. A little fern gully in here, too. Oftentimes, when we do streams, we try to describe what games are like by mentioning what other games they're similar to. So everybody kind of gets a... If, if you haven't seen this game before, it's like, oh, it's like Valheim and Bugs. It's like, oh, okay, I get it. Small high man. I've killed enough of those damn roaches. Finally, back to base, chat. Finally. Let's go. Nice, we're back home. You know, I don't even think the construction hammer has durability, does it? Six hundred out of six hundred. I've been you oh maybe it's for repairs. Maybe if you repair with it then it has durability. This room's gonna look cool. Ooh, 
maybe we could put a maybe we could put a smelter in here. It is supposed to be protected, so could do that. It's bigger than the house. But then again, I guess it's a warehouse. Well, damn, this is going to end up looking like the White House. <laughs> damn it. I'm going to make like an East Wing and a West Wing. Then Michael Douglas is going to show up and I'm going to be like, what the hell are you doing here? It's like, oh, sorry. Ugh. I guess, yeah, we'll do that for now. <sighs> Still a lot of room off to this side. I guess we could do that, huh? To make it symmetrical, we could do something off to this side eventually. I don't think we'll be able to fit everything in the same area. I mean, at a certain point, the stone cutter, the apothecary, the cauldron, and a few other things are going to take up too much room. Speaking of the cauldron, I haven't built that yet either. Seven refined wood for that. Yeah, it's become my room of requirement. Yeah, yeah. Nice looking base. Well, it's a start, that's for sure. Okay, now we just need stone. I want to try to make this cauldron and see what it looks like. I think I need that fire to keep warm. Oh, actually, I could build... Oh, I could do two... Oh, what? No way. They let you build on it. Oh, that's cool. So now we have a campfire and a cauldron. Although it kind of looks a little... Weird. But if I built that without the floor... There's already a little fire under it, but it's kind of hard to tell. So, alright, that's cool. Boy... Boiled poisonous mushroom. Gra oh, grasshopper treat. Oh my god, we can tame a grasshopper now. Irresistible treat for any grasshopper. But we need like a saddle or something for them. So we might need the tanning bench for that. So we can, we can tame them, but we won't be able to ride them. Nectars, wild strawberry, honey crumble... Sorrel broth. Cold protection for f 240 seconds. Cool. Spider stew. Spider eye, spider head, bug lymph. Okay. Garlic pudding. Yum. Ah, we need flour. I saw Uthris building a windmill the other day, so I have to figure out what I need to make to get that. But it could be just as simple as a tanning bench. We need more refined wood for that.
How do I not have enough seeds in this game? Okay, yeah, we need more seeds for more refined wood. Unless we have some in storage. But I didn't see any. Alright, so our next goal will be to go cut down a bunch of uh, rye stocks so we can make a tannery. And we can finally put a workbench in here. Boothris and Booster love windmills in these games? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Booster already has a windmill. Let's just throw a simple roof on this for now. In fact, let's just go with the basic one. I'll redo this in the future, but this will just be a placeholder for now. Because we want to go fight the wasp, too. Actually, we've got to go get our new armor. We spent a good amount of time at base today. I think we'll go get armor. Wait, is there not a rounded roof piece for this? Oh. Doesn't look like there's rounded roof pieces. Okay. Insufficient materials already? You gotta be kidding me. Huh. No heckin' way. Yeah, we have corner pieces like this. Well, actually, it adds a little bit of uh, adds a little bit of height. Hold on. This would look quite nice if it were a little higher. The flat ones were good because we could have built another floor on top. So that's probably what we'll go with in the future is we'll build the, um, maybe we'll build a second floor to this place. And then build something on top so we'll use those rounded wood pieces. 
Alright, so now we gotta be on the lookout for fiber. But, alright, we could do base building all day, but I think we should go do boss battle and armor. Because it's been a long time since we've done any fighting in new armor. Alright, I'm just gonna dump. We're, we're just gonna dump off stuff. We gotta be on the lookout for more rye seeds, too. Which is good because I think where we're going, there's actually quite a bit of rye. And then we'll work on the house. Yeah, those rounded pieces look nice. The the elevated ones look good. I, it's kind of cool because you could almost build like a, a loft in there. Which would be kind of cool for storage. Like I could put a... Like with that, with that vaulted ceiling like that. I could put down like a floor in here. Like a second story, but... I, I wish it were just accessible be like a, like a ladder or something. But I could put like a... I don't know. I, I like being able to build in a game where you can build like a huge... Like building a huge house that's empty, like in The Sims or like in a survival game, it's kind of dumb because you get all this... You have to like run through your house. But it's nice when you could just... You know, like in Valheim we were able... When we first played it, we were able to fit so much into our first house. It was crazy. Like we felt... We filled it full of, a, like, a smelter, and, like, a, there was, like, a, the cauldron and all that other stuff. It was really cool. What's up, Pog lad? Good to see you. Hope you're well. Oh, I may have dropped out my sword. Did, did we have the surgery yet, lad? I need more bandages. You'd like to get into Valheim? Hey, you want to come along for Valheim, you know. If you ever want to join us for something, Harry, you just say the word and you're al you're already uh, you're pre-approved for some of the survival games. And I say some of them because I know you don't know or play all of them. So whatever. No replies of yet? Okay. Okay, we're going to sleep. And then we're going to go to the Wasp Lady. Small pog lad. Okay, so back upstairs. Oh, is winter over? Oh. That lasted like four days. Let's go this way. We gotta go north. Wait a minute. If winter's over, we should go get the better armor. Let's go do that. You want to meet in a real life area? We can. I was talking to Elmox about going back to the Netherlands. I wanted to go to Sweden to see Stromby again, too. And I could do both. Gotta get the B armor anyway, yeah. Well, I'll switch to this armor for now, the, the stone armor, and then we'll go make the B armor, but... I want to make sure I got the better armor for now. Now that it's warm.
There we go. So, time for better armor and a possible boss battle. I think the uh, wasp is actually weak to poison darts, although I haven't seen the recipe for the blowgun yet. I may have missed that. It might. It's probably in there. I just didn't see it. It's probably in the workbench. Do we get the good... Yeah, that's what I should do, chat. I, I'll i go to a William sonoma buy a very nice, like, super bougie, like, $50 pizza cutter, something super crazy, and then drive it, a fly, and then, it like, hand deliver it to Strombi. That'll be my, um... I'll have to get him some, like, a, it'll be a gift for something. I mean, he moved into a new apartment uh, a year or two ago, so it'll be a late housewarming gift. And then, I'll just get him, like, a $100 gift certificate to, like, uh, Air Fryer magazine or something. Well, that'll be perfect. He'll get a monthly Air Fryer magazine delivered. With celebrity chef Paul Rudd. I think this I think the Swedes use scissors, which is unacceptable. Cause if you have a crispy thin crust, you're asking for trouble. I think me, Lumberjack, and Dirty talked about this, and I think we like a thick crust. Not a thick crust, I mean a thin crust or a regular crust, but no... No need for the thick crust. There's spiders in here. Cool. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a big one. Hold on. I gotta mark this location. Stop it, B. Oh, I forgot to bring all my insect stuff with me. They're, they're weak to slash. on like two can't take on two bees and a spider now I gotta deal with a beetle All right, hold on. okay now we know where there's more spiders I found spiders before but that seems to be a much better spot I gotta check with bee lady to see what her recipes are. Is there is there any way to pin those recipes? It'd be nice to know. Oh damn, she's got a Oh, she's literally got a tree above her house. Wait, her house is literally a tree. Like as in you could build on it. Bees. Stay away. Now I might have to run back and get stuff, but I don't even know what the recipes are. 
Oh, the codex. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here's the regal stuff. Behead? Don't think I have a behead. Chitlin, we got plenty of that. Oh, 12. Okay, never mind. So we need we need more chitlin. 10 insect wing. I don't think I have any of these. Herptile leather. Okay, we have that. We... We might need to make that on the tanning bench, but... How do I make a textile patch? So I had to see that map. Oh, there's a beehead. Well, that worked. So I need textile. I like how it shows you undiscovered recipes. Oh, we need to make a cauldron too. I'm just gonna have to fight bees for a long while. But I feel like I could go kill a wasp queen at least. You need silk and sp okay, so I gotta go kill those spiders that I saw like over here. There's like spiders down here, and there was a bunch of rye. I need I need more rye for the base and in general. Let's go kill that queen, shall we? Finally. Yeah, I killed a bunch of uh, spiders before, or at least one, but never got anything good from them. Oh, there's ladybugs here too. I wish the bees were more chill. I feel like the bees shouldn't attack unless you attack them, but the wasps and hornets should be a little more aggressive. Boss battle, frickin' boss battle. Apparently she's weak to hammer. No, she ain't. I feel like the flint spear would be a better option. Hey! I was using that.
Got her ass. Oh, we got a unique item. First try. Alright, so the unique item we got was the uh, Queen Bee's head. So... That's cool. The head of the dreaded wasp queen. First try. So even though she's weak to like blunt damage weapons, man, that spear. Oof. Destroyed her. Finally got our revenge. Feels good, bruh. Alright, so if we need uh, spider armor... Then we gotta go deal with spiders now. A good fight. I think the best thing I did there was the, uh, as I was really low health, as I was waiting to regain health from the bandage, I pulled back and started using the uh, bow and arrow a bit, and that seemed to pay off good. Oh, we need to find a ride, too. A few things on the shopping list. Rye is over there. Uh, yeah, you get seeds from poppies, true. Oh, and that's where you get nectar as well. Alright, this is a good area to be. Yeah, I haven't used the blowgun yet. I don't know if I can make that. I should be able to. I haven't. Oh, there's Rye right there. What is this? The Moave. Nice. Man, lots of good stuff. Lots of good building materials here, too. Lots of fiber. Nah. Scissors, no. You think everybody left for pizza and ramen? Bro, we found out yesterday that Yahi, who's from Portugal, the Portuguese break, when they have spaghetti, they break spaghetti noodles into fourths. Imagine that. You go out to buy spaghetti noodles in the package, and then you're going to have spaghetti that night and break it into fourths. Criminal. Criminal. Yeah, 
Yeah, we just killed the uh, wasp queen. And we got a trophy for it, like a, a specific... I don't know if we can mount trophies in this game, like in Valheim, but I'm assuming that what that's what it could be used for. Yeah, you guys can share tips. Other people are watching and playing too, so you can you can share information with everybody. Okay, I think I need more honey crumble. But more importantly, I need more fiber. That's why I choose once a day Metamucil. Kill some spiders, so we need some spindle finally, which is the Swedish word for spider. Well, it's more like raptor. How do you feel about spiders? Uh, Logum. Thanks, lazy boy, for being here, bruh. Now, if you hold F, it will pick up all items in the, that fit in the inventory. I found myself moving the mouse around to grab. Oh yeah, yeah, that's why I'm. That's why I do this now when I, yeah. After like my first couple times playing. I now just hold F and look around, hoping that... That's really good when you... If you're building a base, you're constantly building and, like, destroying stuff as you kind of, like, build. So if you ever demolish something, just hold F while you demolish it. Oh, they got wrecked. Only eight seeds? No way. Uh, I don't, there, there's a way to fly around with mounts. And we can get an armor that can let us glide. So there are kind of ways to fly. Okay. 
So in there, that's where the spooters are. We need more chitlin. But in order to get that, we need to kill a bunch of beetles. Oh, we have 30. Good. Well, 40 plus. Yeah, we claimed a big tree. sleep and come back at night, day. It's too dark in there. You can have a wolf spider as a frickin' mount? No, thank you. Yeah, I have shears, but maybe not on me. I thought killing these spiders would give me what I need. I think I got my uh, shears at the base. Well, we'll have to see how this mechanic works, I'm not sure. But first, spooters must die. Spider cocoons for silk. Okay. I don't know where to. F I don't know where to find that. I've, I mean, I found spiders. Yeah, we're full on stuff again. Northwest in a storm drain? Oh, really? Okay. Really? I've been up here before. Actually, I haven't been up here. But I've been all along the coast. I don't think up here. Hmm. What's up, Indrid? Let's go back to tree base.
Oh, the gecko can climb up steep surfaces in the game? Cool. Oh, let's get some chitlin. Hey. Ladybugs are useless. Well, now, you know, it depends on what you're doing. I think if you're uh, playing with a group of friends and you got, like, one ladybug amongst you for, like, extra health items or something, and you summon it and everybody gets a heal, that's a good thing. Okay, I want more seeds. Shadow, yeah, the spider's like up over here. Are they across the, the water? Yeah, we've we've tamed some uh, ladybugs before and made a whistle, so we we got all the basics going. Yeah, we keep getting poisoned by stuff quite often. We'll have to make the apothecary table now, too, and the tannery. And so that way we can make the, um... I noticed in the codex it looked like there was, like, other types of things, like poison resistance and stuff like that, so... Boys, boys, relax! Destroyed. Got 
I want to make lights like that. It's pretty. to the top. Alright, let's go. Well then, if there are spiders, then we will, uh... We'll have to get ready with the, um, apothecary table and do that soon. New tree? Yeah, I mean, we can go to any tree. I mean, I'll probably find one in the west. Uh, actually, that's a good point. Yeah, when we go west, we're going to find a tree and then build it over here. Because there's also clay over here, too. So we found clay earlier, uh, which was over... Oh, no, it's actually down here. Oh, there's the castle. Ooh. Oh, you can actually go up to the castle. That must be where a final boss is. Oh, there's like a church there or something. But anyway, we found clay down here. I was thinking uh, it was over here, but yeah, it's in the south. But regardless, I'm going to have to, you know, find a tree base over here and go explore this whole west. This is the biggest area we haven't explored yet. Huge. But maybe we'll go to Skady first and just see what she has to offer. But what I'd like to do is finish up this part. But this requires spooters, so in order to do that, we got to go over here. And I think we need to har uh, farm a bunch more bees for a while, but that's going to be easy. We could just hang out at her house and just like, go anger the bees for a while, sleep, and then do it again repeatedly. But I know there's also... Um, Some other things we need to get here too. Like maybe metal and stuff. We'll, we'll go explore that later. Actually, now that we're home, let's finish up the base a little bit. This looks great. I like this. Almost looks like we could build an observatory out of the house. from inside. So we'll do these.
Let's make that temporary for now. And then what I could do is when we make a... If and when I make a second floor... We could just do it this way, where we build a second floor to this building accessible only through the stairs here. It'll be a way to look down into the lab. Something like that. Just some ideas. We'll mess with that later. So, let's make a bunch more seeds into oil. What's up, St. Constantine? And welcome, chat. Thank you very much for all the likes today. I hope you've all enjoyed your week. Thank you very much for all the uh, subscriptions. Thank you very much for all the memberships. Welcome to all the new people on the channel. It's been a big week. We've been mostly playing this in Dredge, but we've also gotten in that. Uh, tonight, I, I hope to play with my friends. The um, There's a cool game that's kind of like Payday 2. It's like a bank robbery simulator later but you do it with friends and you kind of plan out like where you're gonna rob banks and stuff like that it's really cool so hopefully we do more yes exactly spirit born you can your base goes anywhere so wherever you are your base can come along so long as you hit a tree yeah any anytime you uh, find a tree you can like teleport your base and that goes for multiplayer, too. If I left my game to go play with a friend, no matter where they were in the game, I could, like, you know, take a tree and, like, spawn my base, and that's so cool. Alright, so now I want to build the... I want to build the tannery. So we need flint. Fancy. That's a big o building. Well, good thing I uh, made this big o room. Cool. So we can make that into leather, which we need for the royal armor. Does your map transfer over to other people's worlds, or do you have to explore a brand new game like in Valheim? Um, I'm not sure how the maps work. Although I feel like we're able to see a ton of the map without going there. Like I Previously, I walked down here to go see Clay, and it, it reveals a huge part of the map. So the vision in the map is huge. So, like, I pretty much only hung along the coast here and was able to explore a very long way without going that far. Ah, now we can build a loom and spindle, too. So, we need silk for that. So, yep, spider time. So, that's how we'll get that fabric. But also, we want the apothecary table now, so let's make that. Good thing we built a big workshop. So we need stone for that. And five bark.
Hoo -hoo -hoo. That's cool. That looks really cool. That's awesome. That thing looks really cool. That's going in the middle of the room. Well, I don't know why I couldn't put the tannery like up against the wall. But whatever. That should go outside. This can stay inside. Alright, poison resistance brew, lesser poison resistance brew, health elixirs, stamina tonics, and lesser stamina tonics. So to make poison resistance, we need seed oil, poison gland, and boiled poisonous mushrooms. That we could do, that's easy. So this looks like a lot of base work now. Poison glands, we got a few of those in storage. And boy It's fine. One's in the chat if you're watching live. It's fine. Sometimes it pops out for a second. Just refresh. Oh, it's rain. Cool. Oh, you think the apothecary table is perfect for a rounded corner space? Oh. Oh, it's so cool. They use a little can. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's what that is, a little candle. And it kind of creates a little light, I think. tannery, we've got the apothecary table. Well, that looks good. Oh, did we unlock more decorations? The prep table. Oh, cool. That means you could make like a... You could actually make like a huge laboratory. For your base. 
You can make a huge lab and then, like, make a prep room for it. That brightens this room up quite a bit. Oh, nice. I can build those into the ceiling like they're supports. Beautiful. But I don't want to put them here. <laughs> That's cool. That really turned out awesome. And I thought it was too big, but it's uh, still not enough space. But, what we can do, as I mentioned before, is we can make a wing over here. So we can do, you know, this wing can be for our apothecary, and then we can do the tannery in the other area. And we got to bring a lot of storage inside. So we'll have to figure out how to do storage, or what, like, the cool way to do it would be. Let's have a little snack. Got carried away with my building. Hmm. I really think what we could do is just, like, we don't... We could just make kind of like a mini warehouse. Or just like a few boxes, because I don't think we're going to need so many. It looks like most of our building, most materials will just go straight for building. So we're fine. New member, welcome. Yo, Mike D, thanks for the 10 months as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the big O support. Game looks fun. It it is a fun game, yep. Hopefully they add more items to the game. Like for example a small table. Like for two. There's a bottle cap table, but it's too too big, I think. Actually it's kinda small. Much smaller than I was thinking. But hopefully we have smaller items. Yeah, it wasn't too grindy to build this. You know, honestly, I would say it was grindy to build this if we had to build one. You know in games sometimes where you, you end up building a base like in the middle of the map because otherwise you can't, you know, bring your base with you. In this game, your, your base can come with you, so... Building a glorious base and then going around the map means that you can always go back to your base, and so there's a big purpose to build it, because you can always go back to it. But in games like Sons of the Forest, for example, if you're on the eastern side of the map in Sons of the Forest and build a big old base, then when you go to the western side, you got to do it again. So to drag all these materials all the way back to the eastern side or whatever, it's a little different in Sons of the Forest. But, you know, if you had an inventory where you could carry a bunch of stuff for building, you know, not just like food and flares and things like that, but if, like, wood and stuff you could store, it, it'd be, you know. This is more worth it to be able to build here and then summon your base wherever you have a tree. The lighting is great here. I think we, I think we have a good amount of lighting. Yeah, I think we're good. Do we have a birthday in the chat? What? 
Today's your B-Day? Oh, Tony Two Taps. Congratulations. And thanks for joining us on your birthday. That's awesome, dude. Welcome aboard to the Big O stream. Good to see you here. Yeah, we're definitely going to be playing more of this through the weekend. Maybe we can finally get some multiplayer going and have everybody build their own base. Or at least a tree base that everybody can bring with. You know what? We didn't even build a workbench, did we? We gotta build a workbench. We need wood for that, though. Teleport to a personal island. That's cool. I like that. Alright. So for now, this is going to be our little workshop and everything will be jammed in here. But eventually, we'll make a east wing over there. And then we'll use that for a little bit more storage. We'll space some things out. So maybe in here we'll do... The workbench and the apothecary and some storage, and then the other one could be the tannery and the the spindle thingy. What's it called? The uh, weaver, whatever that may be. Cool. I agree, spirit born. That would be cool. More items, the better. The uh, more, not only just items, but also more things to uh, to build, building wise, for our base. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, well what else is nice is that we're going to be playing Dredge today and some more games on the channel. So don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll be back for more Small Land Survive the Wilds tomorrow morning as well. Going to go live to a new video premiering on the channel that you can all enjoy. So happy Friday and enjoy the new video that's premiering right now. You guys will be amongst some of the first on the channel to see it, so don't miss it. And I will see you all bright and early. Same time, same place. We're going to go west and fight some spiders next time in small land thanks for watching and i'll see you all right now in our live video should be good times gordon thanks for the 16 months let's go thank you guys for your memberships on to the next video let's go Welcome.